Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I wanted to introduce to you processing for education, particularly how it applies to Control P5, a graphical user interface for processing. Processing uh, has enormous value uh, for education. In fact, the biggest idea is that the language is web friendly. It's a number of online integrated development environments and a lot of wikis that allow for teachers and code writers to uh, build and develop better uh, applications. And one of those <coughs> applications we can see right here, or we'll look at here in a moment, is uh, produced by Mr. Andreas Schlegel. Um, he wrote a number of uh, libraries for processing, one of them being Control P5. I want to show you that now. Uh, so, <coughs> Control P5 click on it and copy the copy code which I've already done and paste it inside the processing IDE and since I've already loaded the library control and you can't see that let's see if I can show you the library yeah uh, the library is right here control p5 dot zip I unzipped it and there it is in the directory here is the library control p5 dot jar now when I run this application, uh, it's going to create a wave device of some kind. Let's take a look. All right, so here is our wave, and wave is 50-50. Now if I drag, you can see that the size of it changes, and if I move the box around a little bit, you can see how all that changes. Now, um, for my purposes, since I want to be, for example, I'm teaching a class on physics, I will want the user interface to be a little larger. So what I'll do is I'll just change those numbers right here, make it really big, and then I will uh, give it a new name because I have not named it yet. Let's see, what did he call it? Um, Control P5 slider. So I'll just call it the same thing. Copy that. Go over here. Now it's going to save it into my sketchbook. That's fine. And then I save. And I'll give it a more descriptive name for me. Wave. Click save. And in a moment, um, uh, let's go ahead and start it. <coughs> Control R to start. To run it. Ah, okay, so I made the UI, I made the, the, the size larger, but it didn't necessarily affect the slider environment. That's okay. That's what, uh, that's what we're here for, is to investigate these things. Now, from an electronics guy, or an electronics perspective, or a physics perspective, uh, you're seeing a sine wave, right? So, if we could get some information here about the size of the sine, uh, that could be very useful in a teaching environment. So if you were to tell a student that you want a certain sign size, then you could assign, give them the code for this, and then have them create that sign. Um, we have, yeah, rect, rectangle, negative 100, 200, 200. I think this is where we're going to find our... Um, our uh, slide our slide controls but anyway that's only one of many let's see if we can pull up another example the library might have more examples no okay the library didn't get loaded um, into the IDE into uh, into the processing IDE so I'd have to go and open it directly but the idea essentially is the same though what we are hoping to do is to create um, an online environment that will allow teachers, users, teachers from around the world to create better uh, educational applications for free. Um, free education is critical. It must be free. Um, and since so many schools are essentially state-sponsored, uh, it would make sense that the state begin to um, emphasize how important it is for teachers to begin to produce educational material. Uh, and it's so easy to do. I don't know why it hasn't been done before. 
Um, screencasts make it easier. You're obviously watching one. Khan Academy has done uh, tremendous work in this area and really needs as many educated people as possible to begin to produce educational material. Not only not only for the social reason, but because it, fundamentally education is an economic issue. The easy problems have been solved, it's now the hard problems. And those hard problems are not going to be solved by talking to imaginary friends. The hard problems are going to be solved by hard science, hard math, and big thinking. Um, won't go into coding as an employment tool because uh, you're probably already aware of that anyway. Thank you for your time, and again, thank you to Andreas Schlegel for his, uh, for his work on the Control P5 libraries. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. Thank you, and happy computing.